Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and today I thought I would give you some of my favorites from Sephora since the big sale savings event is going on, the VIB sale at Sephora. Um, I always take advantage of this and I would think probably about 5 36 a.m. this morning I put my order in. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you what I ordered because I'm ordering things that I haven't tried before. But I wanted to show you some of the staples in my collection that um, I would recommend if you are looking to try something new. This is a great time. Um, the VIB sale starts today, which is April 1st, Friday. And if you are a VIB Rouge person, uh, you get 20% off by using the code SAVESPRING at the checkout if you're ordering online or if you go in the store. Um, you can show them your card and say you'd like to have the 20% off, which obviously they'll give you. The VIBs, which are uh, folks on the next tier down, I guess you could say, get 15% off. As of April 5th, they can go and get 15% off. And then just a VIB insider uh, person, when you just sign up, just sign up to get their emails and stuff, they call you an insider at that time, you can get 10% off. Uh, your total order and it's a nice little piece of change there you know and it's it only happens twice a year so I'm quite excited about it um, they also have for everybody 30% uh, off the Sephora brands and the Sephora brand products are their home home base products so to speak and I have several here that I really enjoy and so I'm going to go through those first because they're 30% off for everybody and this is a great time to try them. I guess the first is a lot of their lip products are really high quality. I am wearing right now I am wearing the L18 which is this shade. Really really nice. And I have it on my lips right now. This is the L18. Uh, these are the luxury um, lipsticks. The packaging doesn't look too bad but it is kind of cheap, cheaply made. But these things on sale for 30% off are going to run you probably around $10, which is pretty good. So you may want to um, consider those. Uh, also the um, Lip Stories, which I love these two. I have number 51 and number 68. These are really, really pretty uh, toppers. This is one. And then we have then we have this one, Autumn Time Topper, really, really nice. These lip stories have cardboard, eco-friendly packaging. They're really, really cheap, and I think they're a great deal from the Sephora brands. As far as um, eyeliners go, they have these beautiful, uh, very, very pigmented eyeliners. And I think that they are just gorgeous. You can really pick any color you want. And they're just going to be amazing. Good lasting power. Uh, they rival the Urban Decay ones. And right now they're 30% off. So their eyeliners are really good. And the liquid liner is outstanding as well. I think I have the slate gray one here. It makes a great eyeliner as an alternative to black. It's a really nice eyeliner. Also, the nail polishes. The I'm a Princess is probably my favorite. That's the, uh, the color in their nail polishes. And what it is, is um, you take the little cap off, shake it up, and then you've got a really nice wide brush to work with. I love these. They're only $5 to begin with, so with the 30% off, they're going to be pretty cheap cheaper than your drugstore nail polishes and especially I'm a princess this is a, just a beautiful color I also have the white one which some of you commented on once when I wore it I like to use that as a base for other colors and then there's this kind of light pinky one and it's 30 percent off also this is just one of the most amazing highlighters ever this is a Sephora uh, Golden Hour. Uh, this is a highlighter that just is 
gorgeous. Let me see if I can get this on here so you can see it. It makes you look like an oil painting. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And of course, you can't really see it right now. I do have some highlighter on, but this has really got been dipped into because it's so well loved. But this is also the Sephora brand, and at 30% off, this is the time to give this a try. For primers, I really um, use a lot of drugstore primers and I use primers from other brands that Sephora doesn't carry. I also love Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, the Magic Cream is one of my favorite all-time uh, primer moisturizers and this is a great first and second step. Uh, you would just, as soon as you sit down at your uh, table to do your makeup, I would put this on first and then, you know, put my eye primer on and then um, you maybe do your eyes first and then go back and you can do your face and by that time this will have kind of settled and absorbed in a little bit in your skin and it creates the most gorgeous base for your makeup to go on really smoothly. Also, you have the um, Wonder Glow and you can get these in travel sizes and they have little kits where you can get like this and this and another one. I think the these three all together for a, a, a very small price. They're very well worth it. Charlotte Tilbury is an expert in kind of making the skin replenished before the makeup goes on and she was really big on making sure skincare was a big part of the makeup before she added makeup. So the Flawless Filter, the Wonder Glow and the Magic Cream are three and you can get many sizes of them so you don't have to invest your, your monthly rent or mortgage to get, to get them. Um, absolutely wonderful. I love them. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless Face Setting Spray. Um, it's a beautiful, lightly scented uh, setting spray. It kind of gives you a, a melded cohesive look to your makeup. It helps it last a little bit longer into the day and I just I just love it. The light scent to it is more of a spicy scent like uh, pepper or you know one of those kind of scents. It's not a flowery strong scent and it dissipates over a very quick quick amount of time. I love this. This is the Airbrush Flawless uh, Setting Spray and that's from Charlotte Tilbury. Also from Charlotte uh, there are a couple things from her I really love. Uh, let me just pull them all out while we're at it out here. I have an amazing amount of stuff. Now this is the mini Film Star Bronze and Glow. It is the uh, small version of her regular Bronze and Glow, Film Star Bronze and Glow. And what it is is a really nice, and you can see very well loved, I have hit pan on it, very well loved bronzer. I'm wearing it today. And in a very nice, light, very subtle, not you know, see it from the Sky NASA Space Center. Uh, really, really nice light uh, highlighter and bronzer set. This is a beautiful combo. I like to get the minis because by the time I get through these, it would have been time anyway to kind of get new ones. And you can always reuse this compact for other things. You can put uh, Tylenol in it, your Pepto Bismol, leave it in your purse. It's quite impressive. I <laughs> can pull this open and open and pull out your Pepto Bismol tablets. <laughs> also from Charlotte Tuber, I love, love, love her eyeshadow palette called The Sophisticate. Now this is something that you may think is a small investment, but this is huge because you can make the perfect base eye with this particular set. You do get a mirror. But the thing is, is, is you've got your light color right here for your base. You can use it as your base. And then you've got your medium crease color area for there. Then you have a dark color for your corners and you have kind of a gray color you can use for lining or for alternate if you want a cooler, more neutral tone in the corner. It is absolutely a stunning basic eye look. And you can use this every day. You can use it as the base and then add other colors from other palettes to spice it up if you want some more color or shimmer or anything like that. But I think this is a good basic for anybody's collection. It's called the Sophisticate from Charlotte Tilbury. It's always sold out and there's a reason for that. 
Um, I am down to the nib. I love it so much. Her eye pencils, her coal eye pencils, rock and coal. Uh, this is just beautiful. I think this is the amber moon shade. I'm not sure if she still has it, but she has some beautiful chocolate brown shades that would kind of replace this nicely. Her um, eyeliners are great. Her um, brow pen. She's got a real. It's a, got a really nice strong brush on it which I always like uh, and appreciate on a pencil and then the turn up pencil to give your brows a little bit of lift and of course ladies you know if you are over the age of 50 you probably over plucked your brows in the 80s or 90s uh, because it was the style it isn't anymore we want we want those brows back and this helps them look very natural and long and wonderful so I do love that very much also, you cannot mention Charlotte Tilbury without mentioning the lipsticks. Um, everybody in the world should have Bitch Perfect in their collection. I hate the name, but it is the perfect shade for nude. It is absolutely the perfect shade of nude. This is Bitch Perfect, and you can wear it every day to work. It is just a, a wonderful shade. Uh, goes with everybody's skin tone. It's just one of those things that works and a lot of people when they do their end of year favorite lipstick shades or whatever for the nude they usually pick the Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. Also um, this is Sexy Sienna. This is a really bright kind of a bold coral. This is a really bright and pretty color. I can't wait to start wearing this in the springtime. Um, I have cheated and worn it in winter as well, but I think it's a gorgeous shade as well. You've got this sexy sienna. And then we have, of course, the infamous Pillow Talk. That's a more muted mauve uh, shade, and I think it's, it's a little bit darker than the, the Bitch Perfect. It's a little more mauve, a little more neutral shade. It seems to be the one that she's latched on to to promote in a hundred different ways. I prefer the Bitch Perfect to B Pillow Talk, so if you are deciding between the two, I, personally I would choose the Bitch Perfect. Now In Love with Olivia is a beautiful shade. This is one of her special cases that she has. These cost a little bit more, but with the sale, they will not. And you can see how beautiful that is. In Love with Olivia is a beautiful shimmery this is an evening lipstick the case itself is dressy on its own absolutely beautiful assortment of uh, lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury I, I love the brand I will always buy them I don't care how much they cost um, they look good they feel good and I feel good when I wear them and that's the whole point of makeup isn't it Going into face and cheek products, I really like, this is fairly new to me this year, but this is the LYS or Love Yourself, I believe, or Love Yourselfie, I believe it's called <laughs> LYS. Uh, this is the cream blush, and this is uh, Kindness, it's called. And this is kind of a beautiful four spring shade. I'm wearing it today, and it's a very pretty kind of a glow. It's hard with, you know, my studio lighting to know how it's going to look in the daylight, but it's absolutely beautiful. I tend to put a little bit more blush and bronzer on when I'm on camera than I do in my normal regular life, but this is a beautiful uh, blush. You do get a mirror. The packaging is exquisite. I believe it's a woman-owned company. It's all good. Hourglass, the minis. You can get the mini hourglass blushes. This is mood exposure. This is the most perfect neutral shade ever for blush. There's a slight shimmer to it, so it does give you kind of a healthy flush. It looks deceiving in the pan. It doesn't look like it's going to be very um, good <laughs> or a very good color because it's very strange looking, but it's so pretty on, and you can diffuse it. You can make it stronger or lighter. It's very good for medium to light skin gals absolutely beautiful. This is Mood Exposure from Hourglass altogether. If you can't find this, get this, but if you can't find this, I would say the NARS blushes, um, this is called Spin Off, and then any of them, really, they look so deceiving to what they look like on your face because they are just so soft and so beautiful and blendable. 
Um, NARS has got some of the best blushes out there, and I love it. And if you can't get that spin-off one, you can get um, the Laura Mercier Chai, and it's going to be the same shade. For face powders, um, nothing like the Hourglass Veil powder or the um, or the Laura Mercier translucent face setting powder. These two are outstanding. Of course, the Charlotte Tilbury is wonderful. Um, I actually have replaced that with a product that's very similar to it, and I'm saving the money on it, so I'm not going to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury today. Uh, it is a nice powder, but I believe you don't get very much product in that pan for what you have to pay for it, so I'm not going to encourage that one. For bronzer, contour. This is Fenty Beauty and this is the matchstick. And there are two shades that are perfect for contour. Let me just see if I can do this for you. This one is called Mocha. And this is like the perfect shade for a slightly warm contouring uh, shade for medium to light skin folks. Uh, the other shade, Amber, is more of a grayish tone. It looks more shadowy, and that is a really nice neutral contour. But the Fenty stick, I've still got this one from a year ago. It's still it's still hanging in there. I love it. And the, uh, I'm going to probably go to the Amber one when this one is running out. But I love this. This works really well. It lasts well. Dries down nicely. It's very easy to apply and one of my favorite contours. Now Tarte also has their, um, it is a mascara with a uh, lash curler. I've been using this for probably about four years now and it's absolutely my favorite eyelash curler. I love, it's very ergonomic the way it's set up. So um, when you see this, you also get one of their lights, camera, lashes, um, mascaras with it. But this eyelash curler is so worth it. It's so nice and it has, uh, it's a very high quality eyelash curler and I think you really do need them uh, to curl lashes, especially with some of these heavier, big honking lash uh, type of mascaras. It's nice to have a little bit of curl in those because they've been drooping with all the weight of the <laughs> mascara pulling down your curl. So this is a great eyelash curler. And speaking of eyelashes, um, again, I'm buying a lot of uh, eyelash stuff that is not in the brands that Sephora sells, but I did have two really good ones. They are fairly new to me this year. One is the Bite Beauty Upswing, and this is a, a fabulous mascara. Now the lash wand here has a huge brush at the end, and it initially put me off so much. I, I just thought it looks like a giant caterpillar, you know, like a monarch <laughs> caterpillar is coming at me, you know, and I thought, oh, how am I ever going to get my lashes to look nice? But the formula of this, and once it's on your lashes, it gives you big old honking lashes, a beautiful formula. Um, it doesn't leave dings on my upper lids, and I just recently found um, the Max Stack, and that leaves huge dings on my upper lids. Spoiler alert, I'm going to be talking about that pretty soon in another video, but um, I really like the Bite uh, Beauty Upswing. So um, this is, you can get travel sizes of these things, and it's really worth it to try them, and with this, you know, 20% off or whatever, this is a really nice deal because by the time this is gone, it's about time to change it out anyway. So it's a pretty good deal. and It winds up being less than what your drugstore mascaras cost. Also is the um, Rare Beauty. Uh, their mascara, I have it on today. I really like this a lot. Uh, I think she has some excellent uh, products. And I really, really like this mascara. Again, it's absolutely beautiful. I got the sample size because I just wanted to try it and I really like it a lot. So uh, the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Mascara, really, really nice. The KVD Tattoo Liner in Trooper, it's still like one of my absolute favorites. Now I've heard a lot of people call this Kat Von D, which is not correct. 
Uh, they did change their name when she left the company almost two years ago now. Um, she left and t cut all ties, so you're not supporting Kat Von D by buying KVD Beauty. Now they're still using a lot of the old packaging because they had it under her name, Kat Von D, and some of the packaging may still say Kat Von D on it because they're very green. They're using that packaging to um, package their new liners in and stuff. But KVD stands for, and I had to write it down, Cara, Veritas, and Decora, which means value, truth, and beauty. So, I know, I know. They should have just changed the whole freaking name. I don't know why they didn't. Uh, the brand that owns KVD Beauty, they also own a lot of other luxury brands you may not be aware of. So you're buying other brands from the same company that owns the KVD Beauty line. But again, it is Cara, Veritas, and Decora. All right? <laughs> KVD Beauty. And this tattoo liner is just not beatable. I have not found another liner that works so well when you put false lashes on to make that thin little line. It makes a very controllable line on your upper lid. I love it. It's wonderful. For eyeshadow palettes, um, you know, once you go Viseart, it is really hard to go back. And I have tried different Viseart palettes that maybe the color story in them wasn't 100% what I would like to use, but I love this line. Now this is the Bridal Satins, I believe it's on sale right now for $40. and with your percentage off of that, it's going to be even less. But this is just a beautiful um, assortment of satin colors. They are, I mean, wow pigmented. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, let's see. I love the, uh, the bronzy shade underneath the eyes. Really makes a really nice um, liner. A lot of these are just a little pop of color on the lid. Gives that just a tasteful amount of shimmer. This is so age friendly. The Bridal Satins, it's one of the best palettes I own. So Viseart is my palette of choice. Um, this is one, if I want some more colors in it, uh, this is the Boheme. This is the Neutral Mattes palette from Viseart. Um, you have, if you start at the top here and there's big dents in these, I'm gonna be hitting pan pretty soon. <laughs> You've got this beautiful light ivory and beautiful like white girl skin tone. You can mix these two and make a perfect base line. This makes a beautiful line. I do have this on today. Um, you have these shades that you can transition nicely, a little bit deeper shades to transition. This nice warm shade, which you can use to add a little bit of warmth to your eye look. really nice for autumn but you've also got these deeper brown you've got a nice black a gray you've got a nice taupey kind of mid shade you can use this for lining under your eyes uh, some beautiful transition shades this is just something you should have in your collection as a good base palette this is the perfect neutral palette and again once you go busy art it is just so hard to go back to other palettes other brands and spend more money uh, to have um, great staying power, wonderful, wonderful palettes. And then, you know, they do come out every season, they come out with a new one. Uh, this is the um, Petite Edit, well loved. You can see I've dipped into that 100 million times. You've got some basic eye stuff here. You've got some shimmers and some pops of color. Absolutely beautiful. You do have a mirror. These are smaller, so they're very convenient. Um, this one came out last, last year. This was the Paris Love Letter. Again, beautiful colors. You get a nice mirror. Beautiful colors. And I believe this might be on sale on the Sephora site as well. And you get 20% off on top of it. So, you know, I totally recommend you try these, these Viseards. I mean, I, 
really have a hard time like recommending other brands or other palettes when I have this. And I do have um, another palette on order uh, for the sale, Patrick Ta, I think. Uh, so I'll be going over that. But I have not really found anything I love as much on a consistent basis as the Busy Arts. All right, let's go into concealers and we'll finish up with foundations. For concealers, this is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is shade number two. And it's just beautiful. I mean, I prefer actually to go with more of a neutral pink uh, under eye concealer, and this tends to be a little bit warm. But um, I love these concealers. This is a really nice, very age friendly, does not sink into uh, the lines very age friendly there. I have a lot of problem underneath my eyes because I am 64. <laughs> 64 is 64. Things happen. You know, your your body does natural things to get older. You know, we just have to learn to deal with it. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a Botox person. And, and then this is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I know you're thinking, what the heck is she thinking? And I'll just say, you put a teeny tiny bit here on your finger, and you put it between your fingers. You let the warmth of your hand kind of help it melt into your skin, just a teeny tiny bit. You don't do those big old stripes that I see the younger YouTubers doing. You don't want a stripe. You really just want to tack the really dark part where it is and you tap, tap, tap. You don't smear it, you tap, tap, tap it in and make sure that you've melded that in. I put a light little uh, layer of powder on. I also use my fingers for the powder under my eyes and I'm good to go and it lasts all day. It's wonderful. For foundations, um, this is where I go nuts because I love a lot of foundations that Sephora has. Um, let's start with number four in the lot. I'm wearing it today. This is the It CC Illumination Cream. Now I just saw that they came out with a nude illuminator or nude cream um, and I, I'm thinking about getting that but they said that it's not quite as much coverage as the CC Illumination and it has a 40 SPF which is a little bit less than this but it's a chemical sunscreen. I was a little surprised because this is a mineral sunscreen. This has the dioxide one in it. So I actually prefer the, the mineral uh, sunscreen to the chemical one. I like the illumination from it. I don't like the, the regular one. The regular one's too thick and patchy on me and it clings to dry patches and it gets in my lines. This one, applied carefully, really nice. You know, I do have, I've worn it all day now. I've just gotten home from work and I am just kind of coming on here in my work makeup. So this is kind of all day I've been wearing it. I use the CC Illumination today and I like it. So this is something that I'd recommend as an SPF of 50, which means you do get some sun protection when you're outside and any kind of sun protection is good from keeping your skin from getting damaged from the almighty sun rays that are coming through uh, that are much stronger than what we had in the 70s when we used to lay out with the iodine and baby oil on our space blankets. You know, those, <laughs> those days are gone. <laughs> it's actually pretty dangerous now uh, to be out in the sun and let those rays hit you for too long. So it is good to have a sunscreen on. I use a sunscreen underneath as part of my skin care routine and then I have this as my makeup on, uh, especially in spring and summer, I use SPF um, foundations that have SPF in them. So I like the It's CC Illumination. I'm not sure about the brand new one, but it is in the sale. And like me, if you don't like something, you can return it. I'm the return queen. Don't be afraid to return something to Sephora. Keep your receipt, keep your shipping uh, notification, take it right back and say, look, this sucks and they have to give you your money back to the card or they have to give you store credit, whatever it is. Um, so try it and see if you like it. I do like the illumination the best out of all the IT 
CC uh, cream kind of offerings. Next in the list is Beautiful Skin from Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, I love this. I think this is great. I'm getting pretty low now. I'm using a lot of it. Uh, this is a great, uh, fairly new addition from this past year from the Charlotte Tilbury line. Uh, Beautiful Skin Foundation. It's absolutely gorgeous on. I love it. I don't have any complaints. Fairly mask friendly. Maybe about a six hour coverage before it starts to break down, but it does indeed make your skin look beautiful. Next on the list, this is Patrick Starr's One Size Brand. This is Turn Up the Base. This is the BBB Cream, which is Beauty Blur Balm. And, you know, some people were saying that this goes very warm. Some of the shades are very warm. This is the uh, 3N Neutral. And the only thing with the 3N Neutral is it's just like a half shade darker than my normal shade, but I think it's going to be perfect for summer. This is not golden or yellow in any way, but I noticed the 2N looked a little bit warm, so I don't know what to tell you about that. All I can say is that I love this. It goes on beautifully. It stays all day. It does not um, look patchy. It doesn't go into the lines. It's just a beautiful foundation substitute and it is a beauty bomb beauty blur bomb from Patrick Star's line one size I do have the concealer on order for the sale and uh, I'll let you know how the concealer is as well but I do love this and I have the 3N shade so um, the 2N if you can look at it you can see if it looks a little golden for you but don't do any of the warm shades don't go golden or warm because they're really warm goes really yellow. I don't know why that is, but um, this is nice. And you can always use color correctors uh, with these foundations. I mean, they sell those little bottles. I know LA Girl has them. You know, you can get the little color correctors, get a little blue in there or something. You can neutralize it. You can neutralize that yellow out or the purple. So, one size. Second favorite. Top favorite foundation from Sephora is Pat McGrath. And this is the um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is expensive. It's like 60 something dollars. But this has been my favorite for two years in a row now since it came out. Pat McGrath. And I don't talk about Pat McGrath that much because it's not one of my favorite brands because of the price points being so high. But this is an investment and this is my favorite foundation. I don't like any other foundations as much as this one. So, Pat McGrath, and that's the Skin Fetish uh, Foundation. I'm nearly out. I had bought this in the spring or summer of a couple years ago, and I haven't stopped. I love it. I would probably get it in another shade for winter, but we're going into summer now, so I'll be able to use this shade. And I believe it is shade light medium. It's just beautiful, beautiful foundation. So for hair, I know some of you have talked about my hair um, has improved a lot over the last couple of years. And I have been using Living Proof uh, shampoo and conditioner. I've been using um, I've been taking biotin, I've been taking, um, you know, different hair gels and oils, I've been using them. I've been trying to avoid using too many heat products uh, unless I'm going out or if I'm going to be on camera or something. I don't want to use a heat product, but I think it really helps a lot um, to let my hair rest a little bit. Um, they do have the Living Proof Restore Kit that has several different items in it and I did order to try it, the Olaplex 6, it is the Bond Smoother. Um, it, I, it's fairly new to the line I guess and I'm going to try that and see. It's supposed to be a leave-in super duper conditioner hair purifier or something so I'm going to try that and see how it goes. That's on order on the sale. I also have on order, I have the Makeup by Mario, uh, the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Apricot Glow is the color. I saw somebody else 
show that and I just fell in love with it I said I've got to have that and it was another youtuber oh gosh I wish I could remember her name because she's wonderful I watch a lot of other youtubers and once in a while I will comment on their uh, on their channels I also have on order the Anastasia Beverly Hills mini eye primer I'm just going to try the little one and for the new foundation that I'm going to try it is the Danessa Myrick's yummy skin serum and I saw that most of the colors were sold out in the white girl, fish belly white girl shades. So I looked at the refills and I thought, I hope I can open the refill and get some of it out from that without buying the container, that dispenser, because if that's true, you can get any shade right now in the refill. So I'm getting, I'm getting the refill because they didn't have my color available with the pump. The pump is 34, the refill is 24. So I'm getting the refill. Uh, I am getting the Patrick Ta uh, Major Dimension Eye Palette. Um, I'm get uh, let's see. And I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you're able to take advantage of the sale while it's going on. And um, it's a good idea to stock up your shopping cart. And you're going to find that they will notify you when things go out of stock. That's the real heartbreak about this. Um, I am going to look again because they're adding new products. I noticed there were a few new products added today that weren't there yesterday. Um, but again, you know, it's only twice a year. It's a treat for yourself and it's good to get some staples in. And uh, I wish you good luck with that sale. And I will let you know when I get my box from Sephora how everything looks, how everything works out. And I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.